Oh, that was so good. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'm working with the Hack Motion, motion device right now. And something really interesting happened with the Hack Motion device that was a problem that I was not able to solve. So I was using the player version and in there I was using the club face control thing. And it was showing me at address after working with it a lot. I saw that in Milo's wrist data and a lot of the wrist data of what's happening in the wrist of really, really good players. Saw that at address, they're whatever they are. So let's say like 25 degrees extended. So this is flexion, this is extension. So if they're 25 degrees extended, they take it to the top and they're still 25 degrees extended. And I, I was able to get those two numbers. I was 25 degrees at address and then I was 25 degrees at the top. But there was a problem. Every single time I would swing, I would make this big W in the graph. So the graph is showing flexion and extension throughout your swing, right? So the big W in the graph would show that at address I'd be 25 and then right about here I would start to dip down to like zero and then I'd start to extend my wrist again at the top. So that would give this curve like this and then once I was here at the top then I would bow it in transition and release it through. So that creates this W pattern like that. And no matter what I did, no matter how weird of a feeling I would feel or whatever, I would always, always have that dip going down where I'm extending my wrist. And I would think to myself, there is no way I just hit that shot and I extended my, uh, I flattened my wrist on the way back, but I was, I was for sure. The hack motion was showing that. And this goes to what a lot of people talk about with the inside takeaway, something that I've always struggled with. I got over for a little while and it always comes back, but where the club goes under here and then you try to get it back or maybe it stays there. But this is a real problem for a lot of people. The only way I was able to figure out how to get rid of that was to go into the biofeedback mode of this. So this is gonna make noise and those angels are gonna sing every time my wrist is between five degrees extended and 30 degrees extended. In theory, I should be hearing those angels sing my entire backswing. I should never be getting so flat or so extended that the angels stop singing. When I was first doing this, there was no way that I could do that and actually hit a shot. So you hear it kind of it uh, jittered and it didn't keep the angels singing the whole time. So then I started to make some really slow swings. And I found that the only way that I could keep the, get that graph, graph flat and keep the left wrist extended and not have that inside takeaway is I, if I swung like this. That was good. Let's go into the graph. And yeah, you can see, check that out. Look how flat that is straight across the top. That is like, I used to have this big dip here and then another dip there that would make the W. But this is the kind of pattern that some golf teachers are talking about uh, called pattern A. The only way I could do that was a swing like that, like basically like Matthew Wolf. So the moves that, that do that is, I feel like I'm Spider-Man on the way back and I'm shooting webs at the camera. Or if I was going that way. I'd be shooting webs this way, like that. The other thing that went with that at first is that I had to feel like the center of mass of the club was always on that side of the ball and of me. If I ever let it get over here, then the angels see they stop singing because the wrist starts to flatten too much. So see if I can do it again. That was just the best nine iron of my life. And that was really good there, 30 at the top, 13 in impact. So if you see that graph, you'll see that it's very flat across the top as I'm making my backswing. And then it starts to bow to impact. There's a, a, pro, a teaching pro called Scott Cowicks who calls, the, calls this option A. And what option A is basically is that you keep the extension in the, in the wrist, in the left wrist, about the same all the way back. And then from, from the top to impact, that's when you start to bow it. 
and you bow it basically feeling all the way into the ball. He said this is the pattern today that like Tommy Fleetwood uses before it was the pattern that Tiger Woods used and about 80% of PGA Tour pros. Now there's option B and option C and that goes into some of the extremes as far as like how the wrists are at, at the top, maybe like a John Rahm or Dustin Johnson or a Shane Lowry. Uh, options B and C, like they're used by very few pros. So for most of us, we're gonna wanna concentrate on option A. So what that showed me, the first graph is, okay, I was able to do it, but I was only able to do it with this really extreme Matthew Wolf thing. Then I started to realize that supination, so turning the wrist this way, and extension, they're really matched together a lot. So every time I turn the club this way, it was effectively flattening my wrist down a lot and getting the club to behind me. And that leads into like sequencing problems and other things. So then I was thinking, okay, well, can I hit it where I'm feeling like Matthew Wolf in the left wrist and I'm doing this Spider-Man shooting his webs this way, but keeping that there, but then ro letting it rotate here. And if I do those two things together, it comes together looking like a pretty normal swing. So I'm going Spider-Man and then rotate behind me. That was really good. Kept the angel singing for a really long time and hit a super straight shot. That was so Brendan, this is the link in the description. The link is in the description. Very easy, just go to hackmotion.com, enter the code BEBETTERGOLF and you will get free shipping anywhere in the world for this. So it really saves you a lot. That's really so, kind of the pattern that I'm going with now. I'm feeling this Spider-Man move to here and then I'm feeling a free rotation there. But I still gotta, I gotta feel like, you know, if Spider-Man shoots his webs when his hand is like this, I gotta feel like I'm still shooting my webs during the entire transition. The other thing is too, I have to keep that cup in the wrist until I start down. If I start down and then bow the wrist as I go back, it'll show me as like, like minus six at the top or something. That last one was really good and I was 28 at address, 37 at the top and zero at impact. So it showed that I was 37 degrees extended at the top and then I took that all the way down to zero. That's a little much of movement, but it's perfect on the exaggeration side of what I'm trying to do. So let's see if I can keep these angels singing the whole time, Spider-Man. So I'm, I'm like, if I'm Spider-Man, I'm spraying a C-shaped web like this on this like brick wall behind me. That's perfect. I hit one more and then I hit a longer club. So it's like a Spider-Man doing a C-shaped Spider-Man web pattern on the wall. It's really good. So like if I had silly string, I'd be making a C with it like there. Could you change the range? Like could it be like two, uh, like from one, yep. 130 to 135? Yeah, you can change the range, definitely. All right, let me see. One more. There we go. That's perfect. Let's see what that was. All right, I'm gonna go real extreme here. Slow but extreme. That's perfect. What was that? Uh, okay. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was, that was exactly what I want. All right, let's go to a bigger club here. All right, so what about with the bigger clubs? Let's try that. So it's the same thing. To get rid of the inside takeaway, you got to feel extension in your left wrist. And to do that, you're going to have to feel like Matthew Wolf, and then feel like you're Spider-Man and you're making the C pattern where the C is going this way on a wall behind you. That was good. Yeah, and it shows at the top, 37. Yeah, so it addressed 32 at the top, 37, that's perfect. And then at impact, minus two. 
do this, keep it in range, keep the angel singing the whole time until I've already made my dance swing. Oh, that was so good. The angels were singing for so long and I crushed it. All right, thanks for watching everybody. If you're interested in the hack motion device, you want to try it out, go to hackmotion.com and use the promo code BeBetterGoff on there and you'll get free shipping anywhere in the world. Yeah, click the subscribe button to this video. Let me know uh, if I'm working on this the right way or have any questions or want to see me do different things. I'm going to try to take us out with one more shot. Keep the angels singing the whole time in the backswing. And then they shut off on the downswing because I get so both. I'm going to just do everything at a huge exaggeration here just to take us out with a really fun, awesome one. Super straight. That works. Yeah, I like that. That's fun. And I hit the pole that I was aiming at. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.